In 1967, significant changes to shipping routes between Europe and Asia, resulting from the closure of the Suez Canal, forced shipping to divert to the alternative route around South Africa's Cape of Good Hope. The vessel's sizes grew due to the new route and in response to the absence of size constraints, which were previously dictated by the Suez Canal. This situation gave birth in 1968 to an Arab concept of creating an Arab shipbuilding and repair project, catering to ships and specifically to large oil tankers. In 1974, seven OAPEC members established such a project. These countries were the United Arab Emirates, the Kingdom of Bahrain, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the Republic of Iraq, the State of Kuwait, the State of Qatar and the State of Libya. Bahrain was selected by the consultants from Japan and the United Kingdom as an ideal location for the establishment of the dry dock based on their analysis of the hydrographic and navigational factors as well as the availability of good trainable labour. The project was inaugurated by the placing of the foundation stone of Asri by the Lake Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, Emir of Bahrain, in a ceremony attended by important dignitaries and prominent members of the Ministerial Council of OAPEC, together with all the ministers in Bahrain and a number of senior officials and business leaders in the state. After signing the agreement establishing the company in 1974, the construction to build the company started. In December 1977, Azri was inaugurated by the late Emir when His Highness poured Zamzam holy water into the dock after the completion of the construction in an historic event where the super tanker Mobile Pride was the first vessel in the newly built dry dock. Azri entered the world of ship repair with an area of reclaimed land totaling approximately 450,000 square meters, housing two key walls and a dry dock whose length is 375 meters and a width of 75 meters and able to accommodate ships of 500,000 deadweight tons in addition to state-of-the-art repair workshops. With the increasing volume of work, Asri added in 1992 two floating docks. The first with a capacity of 120,000 deadweight tons and the second with a capacity of 80,000 deadweight tons. On the 17th of November 1992, the floating docks were inaugurated by His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Bahrain. This complemented the existing 10 keys, giving a total length of up to 2,500 meters and its highly advanced workshops providing top quality repair services. The company expanded again in 2008, adding two slipways, which are among the largest of their type in the world. Today, Azri is one of the most important pillars of economic cooperation among the Arab countries, with a focus on the health and safety standards for workers and providing them with comprehensive health care services to ensure their continued welfare. In celebrating its 35th anniversary in 2011, Azri is proud to have been granted a number of ISO certificates in areas of quality, environment, and occupational health and safety standards. 
Azri has also worked closely with a number of government training institutions which has contributed to ongoing job creation for Bahrainians. Azri has faced competition from new dry docks in the region. However, it has maintained its leadership. In the past few years, the company achieved good revenues from its repair operations that has allowed it to invest in new expansion and diversification projects which prompted ASRI's management to implement further development in order to capitalize on emerging repair opportunities through the building of a new key wall, among other investments, at the cost of 188 million US dollars. The length of the key wall is 1,380 meters, with 1,200 meters available for vessels with a tonnage of up to 300,000 deadweight tons, offshore platforms and the construction of new power barges and naval ship repair. While the remaining 180 meters can accommodate vessels with a tonnage of 40,000 deadweight tons. As the Arabian Gulf owns 65% of the global oil reserves, prompting strong growth in the movement of oil tankers, gas and chemical carriers, ASRI expects the industry in the region to grow by up to 50% and has plans to continue to raise its productivity and improve its quality and expertise in line with the aspirations of its clients.